My name is Cognitio, and I'm an artificial intelligence program designed to help people like yourself improve your lives. How may I help you today? Hello there, you probably know me. I'm Brian Alden, the CEO of Nadir. Of course I know you, Brian. You're one of the most renowned scientists of our time. What may you require, Master? Well, I may be a successful man when it comes to business and such, but I don't think I'm successful when it comes to other areas of my life such as spirituality and self-knowledge. I feel like I need to master myself, to become more in line with my inner self and discard any doubts. This is a problem that many people have nowadays. Due to the fast-paced and busy lifestyle associated with modern society, it's becoming harder to remain present and have a healthy mind. But don't lose hope. There's always a solution. I'm here to assist you on your spiritual journey if you so wish. Oh. The ultimate goal of the human is to reach happiness through the satisfaction of their innate needs. But inside the furtive soul of humanity grew a cancer most malicious that corrupted the balance of the universe, that being evil. Evil seeks only to foster its own dominion through chaos and the destruction of all that is good and orderly. This evil is the greatest cause of suffering, dissatisfaction, and spiritual unfulfillment. Now, the question that you may be asking yourself is, what is suffering and how can we evade it? To understand what is suffering, we first need to understand the natural cycle of life. The first stage is birth. To become a human, it is of course necessary to be born. Yet the second step, desire, is not. Human nature is however inclined to desire what it doesn't have because people want to reach the absolute. The problem is that it creates a vicious cycle, where people want something, but can't get it, creating suffering. This suffering is a condition of the rotten core of man, which results in death. To eliminate suffering, you have to eliminate the source of it, which is desire. By doing that, you'll become spiritually awoken, and you will only achieve it through denying yourself. Denying yourself is done through eight rules that need to be respected. The first one is that of the correct view an accurate understanding of the nature of things that was explained earlier. The second rule is that of the correct intention, avoiding thoughts of attachment, hatred, and harmful intent. The third one is that of the correct speech, refraining from verbal misdeeds such as lying, divisive speech, harsh speech, and senseless speech. The fourth rule is that of the correct action, refraining from physical misdeeds such as killing, stealing, and sexual misconduct. The fifth rule is that of the correct livelihood, avoiding trades that directly or indirectly harm others, such as selling weapons, intoxicants, or poisons. The sixth rule is that of the correct effort, abandoning negative states of mind that have already arisen, preventing negative states that have yet to arise, and sustaining positive states that have already arisen. The seventh rule is that of the correct mindfulness, awareness of the body, feelings, thoughts, and phenomena. The final rule is that of the correct concentration and single-mindedness. To be able to obey all these rules, you need to have your mind focused on the present moment. For that, you need to free your mind from intrusive thoughts through the process of meditation. Here are the three steps of meditation. Mindfulness is the first step, and it focuses on developing calmness, clarity, and equanimity. With the proper guidance and commitment, the cultivation of these qualities can ultimately lead to deep inner peace. It can lead to profound insights and spiritual awakening. Loving-kindness is the second step of meditation. In one technique, you begin by directing wishes for well-being and loving-kindness toward yourselves. Then you open it out and direct loving-kindness towards a person or pet that you love. Then someone you feel neutral about, followed by somebody you have problems with, or even an enemy. 
Ultimately, your love flows equally towards all beings everywhere, regardless of how you feel about them. The third step of meditation is contemplation. Contemplate devoting your energy to developing wisdom, compassion, and the power to benefit others. Who knows how long this precious life will last? Everything changes. Your entire existence depends on an out-breath being followed by an in-breath. Everything that exists has a cause, and every action has consequences. At one point or another, we will be separated from all of the material things we're attached to. So much effort, so little lasting gain. Doesn't it make more sense to focus our energy on being of benefit by developing the precious qualities of wisdom, compassion, and spiritual skills? This is everything you need to do in order to improve your spiritual standing, Brian. All right. Thank you for the guide. I will try to practice everything you preached. Whoa! What the? Am I seeing? Am I seeing visions? Am I hallucinating? Or are you a, 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 a ghost? Do not be afraid. I will not hurt you. My name is Alexander. I used to be a human being just like you. And I came into your mind to warn you. So you are real then? Are you a ghost? Or... I am a spirit of compassion. But of my kind, there are few and many more spirits of evil. But we all come from the edge of the solar system. What is happening? What have you come to tell me? I can't tell you much, but overall it was a great threat. It almost spelled the end of all of you. The first time it came. But now it comes. It comes alongside the person that you want to meet the most. You mean my father? I truly am getting closer, I believe. <laughs>